Hello everybody, so let me walk you through. So this is the chatbot phase one video. These are the first instructions, the first thing we have to build. As you can see guys, we already have a login method. We will be using this, but not on phase one. We already have a help user method. We will use it, not in phase one. We have a bot ride method. This is the method that you will be working with. You will call this from the UI and you will send a message. You can change the background image by sending a image URL link in here. Okay, so this is a chatbot class. This is located in the project. We you're going to be working in the web chatbot. It is a blazer net 6 let's go back over here to the chatbot class the chatbot class is located right here in the class library but this is the basics library you will go into the bot library in the bot library there are no bots uh, you will find the chatbot and that's where you will mainly be working on. Chatbot properties is the properties of the chatbot. And uh, basically, one sec, let me, let me fix something right here. This thing goes into here. okay now we're set okay so let me walk you through the basic properties of the chatbot class it has a current keywords current keywords is going to be buttons on the screen when you create a new message and you pass keywords in the list of keywords as strings let me go back here and show you what the list of keywords are Keywords, these are keywords, okay? Uh, a list of strings, keywords. Every keyword is going to be a button, okay? So this is how we're going to create the program. This is similar to console write line, but this is but write line, okay? And when you pass in new keywords, or you pass a new message, the current keywords list, that is static, there's only one instance running, will be cleared, will be deleted, because we don't want people smashing buttons in the wrong moment, at the wrong time in a program, and causing exceptions. We do not want that. So that is why the number of active buttons will be clearing cleared up and we will only add the ones that are in the latest message so that way the program runs in a sequence that is predictable reliable and stable okay next step for each bar item in bot keywords here you will you can copy this method and make your own version of it and what you're going to do is that you want to print to the UI a list of buttons. And that list of buttons will be inside a bubble like this. And the bubble is going to have a different color. It's going to have a label or a text on the top that's going to say, please select one. In this case, we're just going with one. We're not going to have multiple selection. And please select what one, okay? Once the user selects one, it will be processed and then it will call the next bot right it will be processed by the program that is written in another class it doesn't we don't want to write everything in the code behind we want to write it in in classes and that way we can create different class libraries and but for testing purposes you will run a simple program using bot write and bot read so 
you're gonna write the first message is gonna be login welcome welcome user then we're gonna talk about the marketing stuff but for now it's just functionality welcome welcome do you want to log in do you want to register do you want to reset your password and those are gonna be three keywords and you're gonna put those three keywords on the screen and they're gonna be buttons and if the user clicks on them then it takes them to the next step it reads it it reads the the change it reads the input in bot read and then it processes it and then calls the next but write method and you're going to you're going to same as a console application where you write to the screen and you read user input and you write to the screen the same same exact thing it's a very exactly the same thing you're going to be creating programs using this two methods and that's how we're going to build this amazing app that gathers more data that is ux focused on the user experience on improving using technology that is super fast to program super simple and super beautiful and practical and efficient very very efficient okay guys so basically that is what we're building i hope you guys understand if you have any questions feel free to comment on the met on the video i will i will try and help i will try and and, and help you guys so you can finish this and uh, here you can see this is the end result the only difference is that the buttons will be over here they're not going to be down here on um, down here we're just gonna have a regular uh, type of message bar uh, and then we are gonna add other stuff like add photos and stuff like that but for now it doesn't add any photos it's just type of message like a simple basic chat and that's it and as you can see this is something similar to what we will be building in the future but not now for now we're just going to focus on this and the buttons and that is phase one so that is the, the program that you're going to be building and I hope you guys can start building it and let me know how it goes. And if you get stuck, you can comment, you can text me on Fiverr, you can text me wherever. And this project is open source. I really hope you guys can do a fantastic job because you will be promoted. This project will be featured in .NET conference. This project will be featured in, in TechCrunch, in many beautiful places. Um, Microsoft Facebook conference so other developers can use it because this is the future of app development this is the app of all apps this is the best app ever because it can be programmed faster it collects more data it can adapt to the users needs and it is very very user fun friendly so I hope you guys enjoy working in this project I am working my own job as a developer so i hope we can all be able to achieve our dreams remember this project is open source you can use it on your portfolio you can add features to it you can use it in commerce the only requirement is that you share the code with the community if the community gives to you you have to give back to the community and that's it and i hope you guys have a wonderful day enjoy the rest of your weekend and i hope everything goes well